Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. In today's video, you're going to be learning how to make a really tasty granola bar that only requires a few ingredients and really is not that difficult to make and will probably take you less than 10 minutes to conjure up. So if you want to know how to make your very own granola bar, then this is the video for you. So the first thing we are going to do is go ahead and take one and one third cups of any type of oats and ground it up in a blender. And then once you're done with that, we're going to go ahead and drop it into our bowl which is going to be for the dry ingredients and go ahead and set aside another bowl for your wet ingredients and then after that we're going to go ahead and add one fourth cup of coconut oil next up we're going to do one fourth cup of honey or maple syrup i'm using honey but if you only have maple syrup then that is fine it really doesn't matter it just needs to be this thick type of substance and then after that we're going to go ahead and add one half teaspoon of salt now you're gonna go ahead and mix that up until it's kind of this wannabe dough. So it's gonna be put together and kind of thick like this. Now we're gonna go ahead and make the glaze. So what you're gonna do is start off with one fourth cup of cocoa powder. Then after that, we're gonna go ahead and add one fourth cup coconut oil. And then we're gonna finish it off by using two tablespoons of honey or maple syrup or any type of syrup in general, doesn't matter. Then we're gonna go ahead and mix that up. Now that you have both bowls mixed, you're gonna go ahead and get your container that you're gonna put this in and I like to slightly grease it with coconut oil you don't have to necessarily use that but since I already had it out that's what I use to grease it then I'm going to put a pretty thin but decently thick layer of the chocolate that we just made and put it on top of our freshly greased pan then you're gonna go ahead and put our little mix and dough right on top of that and with clean hands I'm gonna go ahead and push it down so it gets nice and flat and really gets that granola bar look and you can do this to make it as thin as you want or keep it thick whatever you like and once we are finished with that then we're going to get the remaining chocolate mix that we just made and just drop it right on top of that and use as much or as little as you want and once you've done that you're just gonna go ahead and smear it all over the top again and make it as thick or as thin as clean or as messy as you would like everything is basically to your desired preference and once you are done with that the final thing you can do is put some nuts on the top of it I'm just gonna be putting peanuts on one half but you can put literally anything you could put almonds you could put walnuts peanuts cashews literally whatever you want to put on there you can and once you were done with that go ahead and put it in the fridge to stay in there for about an hour and then you can bring it back up again and it'll be this nice granola bar and voila you have your new granola bar that didn't take you even that long to make it's super simple and really tasty so, with that being said, if you liked this recipe, if you liked this tutorial, don't be shy and go ahead and leave a like, comment, or subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it and it would just help boost this video for others to see it as well. But thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful day. Thank you.